hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to learn how to make this beautiful bubble dress with the world pockets if this is what you're interested in keep watching like share and subscribe thank you <music> So to make the bubble dress, I folded my fabric into four, as you can see, into four parts, because we're cutting the front and back together. So I'm just going to take my shoulder measurement divided by two plus my sleeve length, depending on how long I want the sleeve to be. So I just took the measurement there to 21, and then I took my armhole measurement plus ease allowance and sewing allowance so i did 10 inches there i'm taking my shoulder to my waist measurement and shoulder to hip measurement and then the full length of the dress the full length of the dress plus folding allowance two inches to four I'm just going to straighten up those lines so that it can be visible for us to see. So at the waist measurement, I'm going to take my waist measurement plus one inch for ease. And then sewing allowance. I added one inch for sewing allowance. At the hip line, I'm going to take my hip measurements plus two inches because I want to I wanted to have the hip illusion and then my sewing allowance one inch. Now connect it with a curve to the waist line. Then at the armhole line, I just drew a straight line from the shoulder to the armhole point I marked initially. And then I'm going to do a slight curve to the waist line, to the waist measurement that we've made already. Let it not be too curvy, so just use your hand to make the curve slightly. Then I'll connect the hip line Whatever I have at the hip, I'll take it straight to the hem of the dress. And join with a straight line. So for my neck, I'm going to do the back neck measurement first. After that, I'll separate it and do the front. So I'm just doing three by one inch which is the neckline for the back. And then I'm going to cut it out. So we're done cutting it out. I'm just going to notch the shoulder so that when I open it up, I'll be able to identify the shoulder point. So I'll open it up to so that we could actually do our front neckline. So I'll fold it into two like this and match the notches I notched at the shoulder point because there's no joining at the shoulder for this dress so 
from the shoulder neck neckline point that we've already marked one inch i'm going to come down you can come down as much as you want i'm going to use my waist measurement to mark the point where i want to come down by so i just came down by 15 inches and then i went in by one inch one inch then i'm going to connect it to the neck point with a curve it's not a straight line it's going to be a curve just use your free hand or use your ammo curve or your pattern master to make a curve i'm using my free hand because i feel that's all i can use just a slight curve to that point and then we cut it out but while i was making this dress i noticed that this one inch i took was actually too much so when you're making yours please don't take up to one inch at that point the opening here i want make yours to be half inch half inch not one inch because i noticed that one inch was too wide so i folded back my fabric again and i want to give it a slight a slight notch there just half inch notch at that one inch point where we marked i don't know if you can see it let the notch not be more than half inch please So for the collar, I'm using this door face satin and um, it measures two and a half inches on fold. I've ironed half inch inside. So when I open it up, it's going to be three inches. And I also added interface on one part of it. I used a medium interface on it. So I'm going to just place it like this. In between, the Ankara will be in between the door face so i'll go ahead and sew it all around and this is it i've sewn it already see how neat it looks when cutting the material for the neckline please let it be longer than the length line measurements so i'm going ahead to stitch the shorter part to the half inch notch we made on the ankara we we'll stitch it down there the second one that is longer we're going to use it to overlap it at that point So I've done that like this. So I'm going to take the measurement of how long I want my plaquettes to be. So I want it to stop there and I'll just cut off the excess. So I'll fold it this way and stitch it down so that I'll be able to fold it inside. You can do it any way you want. You can at this point make a triangle or a square or whatever you want to do there. But I think I'll just leave my own as a square. So I've stitched it down. I've done all the stitching. I've also gone ahead to turn the sleeve with the doll face. I used two inches and I just turned it to the um, right side and stitched it down. So now I want to do the world pocket. I want it to just be two inches away from my plaquettes. And then the slant, the length of the pocket is going to be six inches and it's going to be a slant. It's not going to be straight. So I'll just draw the slant line. I've measured the six inches, how wide I want the pocket to be. And I'm just marking a straight line. And then I'm, I used my chalk several times so that when I fold it to the other side, I can actually get the marking on the other side because I want it to be equal. So I'll just hit my fabric to place the marking on the other side. It's very faint and you can't see it, but I can. I'll just go ahead and just mark it out for you to see. So that's it. That's where I want my pocket to be. So I've cut out a piece of door face and I just added interface to two inches or three inches at the upper part. I just wanted the parts to be a bit stiff. So the fabric is measured eight and a half inches by 
11 inches so I'm marking one and a half inches away from the top measurement there just one and a half inches all the way I'll read it with my ruler then after that one inch one and a half inch sorry I'm going to divide the line into two and mark the midpoint then I'll take three inches at both sides to make up six inches for the length of our the wideness of our pockets so I'm going to from there again take another half inch plus one bar I don't know how to call that but it's half inch plus one bar I'm going to just mark it up all the way all the way like this and rule a straight line there and I'm going to look for the midpoint of this square that I have already. I'm going to look for the midpoint and rule it out. And I'm just going to rule it out like this. So I've ruled it out and that's it. I'm going to mark that midpoint I just ruled out now to the line I marked for my pockets. I'm going to place it and match them together. That midpoint line is what I'm going to match together with this line. I'm just extending it so I can see it where it will match each other. So that's the point. I'm, I'll pin it down and go ahead and sew the square that I made. The square we made, the first square we made, I'm going to sew it all around. So I've sewn it now all around to the 6 inches line, the square that we just made. So here I'm taking half inch away from the sewn part that we made and just do a V. Just a small V. So that this pocket will be able to relax properly when we turn it over to the other side. You just watch and see how I'm going to cut out this line. So I'm cutting it out now. That line we marked that we marked is what I'm cutting out. And then I'll cut the V like that. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Just cut it open. Like this, yes. And notch. So the notches we made now will allow it to rest freely, like smoothly when we turn it over to the other side. It will all rest smoothly. You see? So I'm going to pick about half an inch just to cover the opening we have there. It's not going to cover it all the way up, just cover it a little bit and then I'll stitch it at both ends. I'll go and do that and come and show you. See how it looks at the right side. I've stitched it and I've ironed it. So now I'm going to measure the length of what we have remaining and cut out a fabric that will cover up that point because that's where our pockets will now be now the pocket covering is what we're making now so this is what we're going to use to cover the pocket so we'll just take it down and sew all the way around and sew very closely to the notch we made at that point so very closely to that point all the way so I've gone ahead to sew the two pockets and this is what it looks like. Then you have to serge it all the way. And this is what it looks like in front. See how it is, how neatly sewn it is. It's looking fine already. So I'll go ahead and flip it over to the wrong side and sew my seam allowance down all the way and then fold the hem of the dress and we are done so this is the final look of the dress see how fine and smooth it looks 
if this video was helpful like share and subscribe give it a thumbs up see you in our next video bye bye